how it is? I like how the lip tail is the steepest part of the ride. Or not. Okay. <laughs> oh, thank you. One more. Ah. Oh. Look at this, this is pretty cool. Look at it. <laughs> nice. So I've had Pure White Imports, I'm just thinking like, how nice. I don't know if that's right. <laughs> I love these colors. And I was just thinking like, like, isn't this color called Peacock? And I'm like, <laughs> Peacock. But yeah, I just love these colors. I don't know why. I don't care if they're girly, I like them. <laughs> Are they girly? So, I don't know, I just, I, I really like those colors. But they're so nice and just so welcoming, very spring and inviting. I like it's Corey's um, little chair. I wonder if anybody bought it. I'm so far behind on the blogs, I wonder if he bought this chair. I was going to tell him he should get after 100 days of, 100, one, after 100 days of, of positivity. I wonder if it, if you're dead, there's so many. Here we go. <laughs> Let's try it out. I'm just like scared it's gonna fall on me. How does how's it look? Oh, this is actually really nice. I want one. <laughs> wonder how much it is. This is actually really relaxing. Oh wow, that looks like a good photo actually. There's a photo of me. Let's try it without my glasses. Oh yeah. Um, no, I haven't got my glasses fixed. Totally stopped. And I totally stopped recording. Sorry about that. There we go. Now we're recording again. Oh, this is actually really re relaxing. So I am going to take off some pillows and get more comfortable. See how it feels and maybe I'll buy it. Oh, that's a good one because this one is feathers um, down. Everyone knows I'm going to it down. Oh, this is actually really nice. It's like, you know, my feet are off the ground. Can you see? Yeah. This is so nice. I just be like you. Be like you a lot. So happy I had to take a picture. So what are the things you guys like that are just like, so relaxing? Like, I love um, hammocks on a nice spring day. But sorry, stop recording again. So I like hammocks on a nice spring day. Um, those uh, those porch swings, I love so much. And this is kind of like a porch swing, but with additional movement. You see it sways back and forth. So I'm rotating on um, the Z-axis. And then it has, I guess this is the, what is this, Y? No, Y is up and down. So, um, so, X, we're rotating on the X axis, let's see. I guess, and I guess when I go like this, when I rock in it, that's, that's the, that's the Z axis, right? If it went up and down, that'd be Y. Yeah. I always have, I always have like, trouble telling the difference between the, the Z axis and the X axis because they're technically both the same thing. But I know they're not. I know that the Z axis is 3D. Y is vertical, X is horizontal, and three is, 3D is, and Z is the, the three-dimensional plane. 
but it's the point like people say like is this is this, when I'm rotating side to side is that the Z axis or is that the X axis? I think when I'm swaying and moving in the X axis, right? Oh, sorry, the, the Z axis. So that Z motion, I sway back and forth, and it has a X axis movement on the X axis. See? So which is better, than, like it's more than a port swing, which just has Z movement. Yeah, I know. I'm rambling again. I'm sorry. <laughs> Michael the Rambler. So, but at least we're having fun here at Pier 1. We'll see. Enjoy the music. I don't know if it's copyrighted, so if you enjoy it. So I'm just going to relax and browse the store and I'll come back to you. Don't know what this is, but I really like it. Ooh, it's heavy and it's glass. It's really pretty. Oh, I love coming to Pier 1. Do you guys like coming to Pier 1? It's, a, it's so much fun here, isn't it? <laughs> Look at all the pretty stuff. What is this? Oh, it's glass. Oh, it's some little beads. It's so pretty. I got that my color I love so much. What is it for? India. I don't know if you can see that. Just take my word for it, it's from India. Hmm. Does anyone know what these are for? It's part of Pure One. What's that? Like Dresser knobs. Oh, these are knobs. Oh, yeah, you can see the. Can you see the, the screws? That is really cool. I would be a really cool dresser. I didn't know you could decorate stuff like that. Oh. Well, it's not an apple pear one anyway. So look at this. Isn't that cute? It's really grilly, but it's cute. And then I like, I'm not exactly sure what this is. Is this, a, is this an egg beater? Is that what it's trying to be? It's like, it's like an octopus? I'm not sure what it is. Oh. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> Did I make sure I look here one? Let me get another one. So pretty. Okay, I'm gonna continue browsing. Oh, look at this. It's a floating sand glass. Hourglass. Well, five minute glass. I don't know what you want to call it. Inside like another tube. Isn't that cool? I just love the things you can find here at Pier 1. Yeah, I didn't make a much photo from the last time. Oh, look at these. Okay, they look a little more blue from Pier 1. I can actually look like green. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with green, but you know what you know? That blue. That peacock blue. Or maybe like cobalt blue. Nice. I love this color. I think it's peacock. Uh, what, you, what do you want to say? Like, what is this blue? What kind is this aqua or is this peacock? Cast your votes in the comments below. I love these things. So they get so dusty so easily. Oh look, look at these ones. No. What do you think? Is it me? <laughs> I like the ones that go on the stick. <laughs> so, what is. For those of you out there at home, what's like the coolest things you've ever gotten from Pier 1? Uh, let's see, for me, the coolest thing I've ever gotten was uh, something similar to that. that the thing I really liked was being out of glass. It was like $75, but it was so worth it. 
I had it for like four months and then one of the cats broke it. <laughs> so that's why I really don't buy stuff from Pier 1 anymore. It's, you either have cats or you get cool stuff from Pier 1. So like in the comments below, why don't you, why don't you tell us like, some of the cool things you've gotten from Pier 1. And that is it from the store. I hope you enjoyed it. So out of one favorite store and into another. There we go. It's like the camera's when I'm holding it like upside down, like over here, I want to block it with, a, with my hand, but now that it flipped over, the camera's over here and my hand's on this side, so we're good. So yep, out of the one store, one of, out of one of my one of my favorite stores, and into my mother, here's pure one. I mean roll like it. I love this store so much. Even more than pure one. We have cool stuff here, and give me a second if you help. Okay, for those of you who don't know, I am trying to find a, cu a cucumber soda that I had several years ago, and I forgot all about it, and I was watching something on Discovery, one of the Discovery channels, or History channels, I don't remember, and they were talking about soda, and one of them they talked about was the cucumber soda that I had a few years ago, and I don't remember where I bought it, because it was a, a long time ago, and... And I don't even remember what brand it was, but it was the same one they showed on the television show. And it's taking me months to make it here to Pier 1. And I was like, Pier 1, might as well be here, might as well look for that cucumber soda I saw on television. And I had once, and it's so good for those of you who tried it. It's like, you can find everything else except for orange soda, including lots of candy. Really good. Anybody had any of this? Oh, never mind. Those of you that don't know, I hate mango. Hate anything that has mango in it. Yeah, absolutely 100% hate mango. <laughs> don't know why, just don't like it. Don't like the taste, don't like the texture, don't like what feels in my mouth. Anything, especially the taste. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's mixed in with other things, I do not like it. Okay, so that's a no on cucumber soda and a no on blue moon risley. I can't say that word, wine. <laughs> They're not sold in this, these, this chain of stores, well, they're sold in the market, but not these local ones. I have to go back to the ones in Florida. <laughs> so, such is life. Oh well, time, probably time to head out. I pretty much, I went to Cheddar's earlier, and I had a really strong drink with my friend Rachel. And, well, I was told it was strong, but I didn't think it was strong. But I wanted to do some shopping and get some Christmas presents for my family and for my co-workers, so we might as well, and I like, was walking around Marshalls, and I'm like, oh, I feel like it was a little buzz. <laughs> yeah, not, not that bad, but I definitely, am, I'm, sure if I, I'm not sure if I could, could have driven. So, I uh, decided to walk around and have some fun and see what I find, and no on a lot of things, actually. But at least we had fun, and if I want to be, want anything, I need to move back to Florida. So it's time to head home, it's late, and it is cold. But look, look, look how pretty this, this place looks with all the Christmas decorations. I think it actually looks like this all year round, so I don't know. <laughs> so I'm just going to walk to my car, and I will talk to you later. Bye.